everyone. I'm Alejandro. We are in this new schedule in Tango for All. Uh, on Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Spanish time. Today, we will talk about six strategies for essentials for the codes in the milongas. It's divided in two different um, advices. In these two parts, I will talk and I will read your comments as always. I will talk about when you go to the milonga or a festival or a marathon or uh, the event that you that you will go and how to find a place how to do a better cabeceo everything that's the first part and the second part we will talk about different strategies inside the floor because many people asked for some specific situations in the milonga and I would like to talk about that today okay so so the first of the strategies I called geography okay so it's divided into the first part is how to how to find a good spot, a good place in the milonga. So, I would recommend you to find a place when you when you get into milonga. I would recommend you to find a place around the middle, and it has to be a place with a good light. Why is that? Because when you go to, to a festival or a milonga or a marathon, you... Okay, there will be exceptions, of course, but you want to dance, okay? So, let's start with that um, with that thing in mind, that people want to dance, and people want to dance the more that they can, okay? So, the first advice is to find a place where you can be in the middle of the place, uh, with the more light you can. Why is that? Because you can have more view at both of the sides. It means that you will have the double of possibilities to be seen by the people. So, if you are a follower or a leader, it's the same. You go to a place where everyone can see you. Okay? So try to find a place where the more amount of people can see you that you are there okay that's number one because many people ask me oh uh, I cannot find a good place or the people uh, people are not seeing me or what's wrong with me that people uh, are not paying attention to me or are not inviting me to dance or something like that so first find a place where everyone can see you uh, hello Philippe, how are you? Um, so normally find the, the side that is with more light, it's better and find a place where everyone can see you from everywhere, okay? That's easier. If you want to dance more, okay? If you are an advanced or someone who wants to dance two or three tandas and then go home, okay that would be a different strategy. But if you want to dance more, the middle of the place will be the best option. Number two, how to get noticed? Because it can happen that um, you are in, in this particular place, but uh, you need to be seen by the people that you want to dance with in the future. So, one, typical strategy it will be for example if you want 
all the people to look at you or to catch their attention, one small tip could be to stand up. Stand up just for one second and look like this, for example, or maybe say hi to someone or something. It has to be every trick will work. Every trick will work if you want to get the the, um, the attention of the of the rest of the dancers. Okay, you can stand, you can look at uh, someone, or just for the people to know that you are there. Okay, that works a lot. So, if you have some questions or something, as always, I will I will be happy to answer. Okay. That was number one. Number two, about the music. It is so important to choose very carefully the music. So first, please guys, try not to dance two or three or four or five tandas in a row. Because many times it happens that we can see people that they there are some people or some dancers that they dance everything okay it's okay it's okay they dance the tandas they dance the cortinas too okay but it's better it's even better if you choose the music that you want to dance why is that because if you choose you make the the other candidate or the other dancers to choose too do you give the possibility for the other person to choose too if you invite someone to dance and then the tanda finish and you stay with her or with him and you start talking and then the rest of the next music starts sounding and you say okay let's go to dance of course the other person will be polite and will say yes to you but you are not giving the possibility the real possibility to the other person to choose and you don't know what's coming so if you're lucky if you're lucky the 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 next stand up you will like but it will not happen so often so that's one point and another point would be that it's better if everyone can dance with the more variety of people that that they can so the more this exchange of dancers happens the better for the community why is that? Because the communities that I've seen after these four years traveling, um, the communities where the people just dance with one person or two persons or three or five, and just with them, uh, the less that community will grow. Okay? So, it's not a good idea. I recommend to invite someone to dance, dance one tanda, and if you want to dance another tanda, you can say, uh, I will try to invite you later, okay? Or something like that. Um, but give air to that person, to that situation. Try to miss the other dancer too, and to be missed by the other dancer, okay? Um, so remember if you have some questions you can ask this video will be posted um, I think tomorrow or maybe Friday uh, in the YouTube channel as always uh, but this from the first time we will be on Wednesdays 7 p.m. Spanish time so about the election of the tanda not to dance remember not to dance tandas in a row, try to dance one, then dance with different dancers and then you can dance again with the, with the other person. That's a best, uh, that's the best idea to me. Um, another thing is about the election of the music. This is an important topic. So, as tango is first music and then it's a dance, 
we should pay attention to the music more than we can and more than we want and at the beginning okay so we have to be focused in the music first what I will recommend is there are two different groups of music in tango if you can't um, recognize the orchestra yet because many people can't um, the first thing that I would recommend is in two different groups the first group is the kind of orchestras that they are rhythmical and fast and funny and spicy or something like that group okay you will have Darien's of course you will have Troilo you will have Tanturi you will have Donato you will have Piaggi you will have all those orchestras will be in that group um, and you know that your body will react in a more fast way okay we will talk in detail about this topic how to recognize orchestras quickly we will talk about that in the future in an upcoming tutorial that I'm I'm working um, right now at home okay but today to, to do it uh, as a part of this podcast I will tell you that these two groups is a perfect idea to think about because when I was uh, uh, in the first circuit of milongas in my city in Buenos Aires we have different circuits uh, with different uh, kind of dancing too. So I didn't know the orchestras uh, at all. I, I, I couldn't recognize them. So I had to listen those orchestras um, at home a lot. So the first group are the rhythmical spicy orchestras. Okay. You have to um, prepare your body to these kind of orchestras okay? because some specific uh, gesture musical gestures or musical sounds or musical signs will happen in the first two or three th two or three seconds okay so what I would recommend is when you are sitting in the milonga first try to listen two seconds three seconds and then you invite someone to dance, but knowing already which which of these groups uh, are the kind of music that you will dance. So if you are not in a mood or of uh, rhythmical orchestras, uh, you can let that tanda pass, okay, and wait for the next one. And the other group will be the melodic and dramatic group. Okay, we can have. Caló, De Mare, Fresedo, Di Sarli, these kind of orchestras where um, the lyrics are talking about some specific topic that I will tell you that we will talk about that in upcoming, to, uh, that's not a tutorial, that's a podcast too, we will talk about the lyrics in tango. Um, but those kind of melodic, dramatic, sad, nostalgic orchestras uh, will prepare your body for different kind of movement some uh, more grounded heavy smooth so your body will be prepared in a different way because music comes from acoustics and acoustics comes from frequencies and frequencies move through your body in a way that you cannot um, control because it's acoustics so your body will feel more relaxed, your body will feel more, I don't want to say sad, but will be more like emotional in a, in a sense of um, more like inside of you in those, in those orchestras, in, in this kind of music. So if you want to dance something like that, you will find out automatically. In two seconds, three seconds, you will feel your body that is more relaxed you will feel your body that is more like it's prepared to be slow okay that's the group the group okay 
So try to do that exercise at home. Try to listen to this kind of orchestras. Remember, Fresedo, De Mare, Calo, these kind of orchestras, these early. And try the first two or three seconds on every song. And you will find that the energy, the dynamic that uh, this kind of orchestras gives you, um, it's different than the other group, okay? Even if you don't know the orchestra, it doesn't matter, the orchestra, okay? There is no way to, for your body to, to feel that you have to dance these kind of steps with Tanturi and not with Troilo and not with D'Arienzo. That's not how it works. Your body cannot understand about names, okay? That's why it's useless, in my opinion, to know about which is the period, the perfect period uh, of this orchestra or who was the violinist in the uh, 1935. On those kind of things. That's just information, but it's useless uh, in the moment of um, dancing. Okay? So, in the music point, remember we have two. First, try to let the music sound two or three seconds and then invite someone to dance. Okay? Dance different tandas with different people. Don't dance two or three tandas in a row. The second is about these two groups of orchestras, okay? Remember, try to do this, this exercise, it's, it's useful. Okay, so, tip number three, about the cabeceo. Some people ask about um, some weird and awkward situations that we can face in the milongas. For example, I don't know if it happened uh, to some of you, I, I'm sure that it did, it happened to you too, that is when you invite someone to dance and then two girls go stand up. Or the opposite situation, for example, when you think that you invited someone successfully and the girl or the, the, that person was saying yes, but was not for you, was for the guy that was behind you, okay? Those kind of situations can be fixed in different ways. I prefer the ways that can prevent this, this kind of conflict. Example. The cabeceo, cabeceo has two different, uh, two different timings, two different stages, we can say. The first is the contact, the eye contact. But the second is the confirmation of that cabeceo. If I invite someone and the other person says yes to me, I need the other person to still to keep the eyes on me. And I will do the same. Then I will stand up. I will look at the other person again. I will start walking in the other person's direction. I will keep my eyes in the direction of that person. The other person will do the same. That's the confirmation. Which means, okay, yes, we were want, wanted to, we wanted to dance uh, to each other with each other. Okay, so. Perfect. Many times it happens that I thought that that lady was saying yes to me, but it wasn't. So I stand up and then I approach to her and I find out that the lady was not looking at me. She was looking at the other guy. How I could, uh, how I could realize because I was looking at the other person and the other person was not looking at me. So the confirmation didn't exist in that case. So, first, when you invite someone, invite, look at the other person, 
and stay at least half a second stay with the eyes pointing to the other person okay give time for the other person to say yes or no after that if the other person say yes okay I will stay and then I will stand up and then I will go okay all that process will take around one second but every person needs that that confirmation okay otherwise many many conflicts can happen in the future for example as I said before I walk in, in the other person's direction I approach and was not me the guy that uh, had to dance with that lady okay so and what happens if we are in that in that problem already so if I stand up and then I approach to the other person and the other person was looking at another guy in my culture for example in Buenos Aires in Buenos Aires we want to avoid that shame so we had to make like a hidden move for the rest of the milonga not to see that okay so what kind of things can we do for example what we can do is to go to keep going keep walking and go to another direction never invite the lady that is one meter after um, this lady with the conflict okay nobody wants to feel that is a second chance okay so keep going keep walking and then maybe you can invite someone else or maybe go to the bar or try to try to manage okay for the ladies the same if you try to wait until until the leader is coming to you and stands in your in your table which means that that man was going to um, wait for you to stand up Okay, that that man or that leader wanted to dance with you okay so it's important look at the look at the person that you want to dance ladies look at the men stay with your with your eyes in the man wait for the cabeceo if you want to accept accept and look at the look at the man okay while he's approaching to you stay looking at him okay and then the man will come to you and will stay standing in front of your table or in front of your chair and then go that's a fantastic way to avoid conflicts and awkward situation if you if you were if you for example if you mistaken and the guy was looking at the other person and you stand up do the same as I said before stand up and go to the bar or go to for a for a beer or for a water or go to the whatever you want okay but that's the way that you will avoid uh, to feel uncomfortable um, imagining that that I wanted to dance with you and he just wanted to dance with the lady that was or behind you or at your side okay so little tips to avoid conflicts in the milonga um, another thing there's one one traditional code which says that if i invite a lady to dance and for example to stand up uh, this rule said that I should dance with the lady which stood up first and I disagree even as a traditional guy that I am all of you uh, which know me you know that I prefer more in a more traditional way um, I disagree with this rule because if I do that I will make I will be unhappy because 
I really wanted to dance that tanda with that person, and another girl stood up, surprising uh, all, all of us. And then I will do, the, the lady that I wanted to dance, that I really wanted to dance, I will make her unhappy too, because she didn't have the tanda that she wanted. In many places, for example, or, or in many events, the, some people choose very carefully the tanda and the partner. Okay? And that's something that I really recommend to do. Don't dance every orchestra uh, with everyone in a random way. Okay? Choose. Because uh, sometimes you don't feel comfortable with someone um, during some kind of music. And that's not uh, your fault, it's not your partner's fault. It is because the music is not proper for the communication or the energy or the dialogue that you can have with that person. Okay? So, some people ask me in, in my workshops, uh, that means that I have to dance in orchestra uh, some kind of people is for Darienzo, some kind of people is for Tanturi, some kind of people is for, for Disarli, something like that. What I will say is that um, for different moods, different people. Okay? Think about that. So, let's go into the second part. The second part are small strategies not to have conflict inside the floor when you are dancing, okay? So, there are some um, tips for some situations that they are called codes too. So a code in a milonga is not only to know how to make the cabeceo or how to dress or how to behave in the milonga or festival or the event that you want. Codes are inside the floor too. Which kind of steps are useful for uh, if you are in the third line outside or if you are in the second line or if you are in the middle of the floor is different because you have different spaces so if you have different spaces it means that your the administration or the management of the resources the musical resources that you will have it will be different so First one, this is known by everyone. This is for the guys. Guys or leaders don't go backwards. Okay? You will say, ah, oh, but everyone, everyone knows that. Yes, everyone knows that. But I've seen a lot of professionals in these four years, professionals doing the step backwards. So, if you go for years to good milongas, where the dancing is nice, where the people really attend to the behavior, they attend to the, um, to the dance, they attend to the music, they, they really love tango, and they take care of the, the older community, you will see that the leaders are not going backwards. Why is that? If I go backwards, I cannot see who is behind me. I would crash. Okay? Or even something worse. Maybe I'm not crashing. But I'm not crashing because the other guy, the other couple, was going backwards too. For not to crash me. So he's taking care of me and I have to take care of the guy that is in front of me. Okay? So 
My responsibility is the couple that is in front of me. They have the responsibility of the couple that is in front of them. Okay? That's why if you have to choose a place in the Ronda, try to choose to go behind the best of the of the couples. Okay? Because he will not go backwards, he will not do uh, weird steps in your direction. Okay? So you can you can dance relax okay and the dance will be the navigation will be smooth and light okay so that's the first one don't go backwards okay another one move move okay in many places in many cities in many countries people are used to stay in one place and turn all the time turn all the time that's risky because if you you can crash someone that's the first reason you can crash and you will crash someone okay and the second reason is that if you are turning all the time the couple that is in front of you are going more distant from you that means that you are delaying the ronda okay that's why two or three heroes in a row are absolutely wrong okay try to avoid doing that try to make the ronda to keep going okay for example that's why the walking the famous walking was created for the people to move okay some of you will say, oh, but that's too obvious. Yes, it's too obvious. It's absolutely obvious to me that I have to say this. But I have to because they are part of the codes in the Milonga too. And it's important for us to be aware of that situation because it happens all the time in every city, in every country. It happens all the time. Okay. The distance. It's important distance to be I cannot tell you one meter or something like that I have many friends in countries like Russia that they will say okay but how many centimeters I need okay I cannot tell you I'm sorry I cannot tell you exactly the centimeters that you need okay um, but I've seen that uh, it's around one body and a half or something like that okay so if you guys want to want to measure, it's around one body and a half, okay? One body moving, not standing. One body moving and a half. That's around one meter or something like that, okay? That's okay. Remember to comment below if you need. Um, I know that some of you are outside this pod, uh, outside this uh, this uh, chat right now so you are listening to me but you are outside so please get get into the meeting too so one thing that is important another tip because i i want to give you we had already the six strategies three were to um, the geography, remember, the music, the cabeceo, don't go back in the backwards, move and keep the distance. It's absolutely important to keep the distance. Okay? So, I will give you three more tips, like a bonus, bonus tips for you. Okay? So, about the side steps. Many people are doing side steps everywhere. The side steps, they, first, it doesn't exist because the, the, the name side step in, in Porteño uh, language, that doesn't exist. What we have is an opening, okay? It's an opening. 
which means that you open your legs a little bit to make some space okay that's the opening but we don't have side steps what we have are going forward going back and opening that's it that's what we have in tango okay why is that it's absolutely uh, logic logical to think uh, that in the geography of the milonga if we make a sidestep we are crushing the line of the other couples so if i am in the line that is outside and i do a sidestep i will crush the couple that is coming if i am in the second line and i do a sidestep i will crush the couple that is in the middle so there's no point of doing a sidestep okay so forget about that sidestep doesn't exist okay so if you want to go to an opening what you should do is to turn a little bit for example i'm going in this direction i go in this direction and then i want to go an opening okay so i have to turn i will turn my upper part first then i will let my hip to follow and then i will do an opening okay so i am doing remember sidestep doesn't exist but i am doing an opening but it's not an opening to my side i am doing an opening but going forward that's the proper way to do it okay instead of doing an opening to the side if you want to change your weight just change your weight okay or make the follower to do a very short opening very short that's it okay otherwise you will crush the people you will you will crush the dancers that they that that they are in the in the other line okay so sidestep doesn't exist try to start thinking about opening okay for followers this is a controversial topic okay so i need water for this I'm sorry, dear wonderful followers, but forget about the planeo, okay? Forget about that in a milonga, forget about that in a crowded marathon, forget about that in a crowded festival, okay? Yes, you are insulting me, I know, I know. I can give you a number of a therapist or something like that as we will say in my country okay but forget about the plan air. why is that because i know that you want to feel that you are dancers then you are a uh, wonderful and and amazing um, ladies with wonderful long legs and those kind of things i can understand that but if you do a plan air, uh, you will crush uh, the other couple it always happens everywhere everywhere there is no space for planeos in a milonga why there is no space for that because planeo it it's not coming from a milonga okay planeo is for performances it's a step it's a it's a movement for performances it is not from the milonga okay it's not coming from the tango that was created in a milonga okay that's why it's not because I like it or not. I like planeos too. I like how it feels when you when you lead a planeo, okay? Um, but you will crush someone, okay? So what happens if uh, because some followers will say, but what happens if the leader is leading me a planeo? Okay, it's his fault, okay? Because a uh, planeo is too risky to do with the with the leg extended okay horizontally um, you will you will be drawing drawing a circle in the floor okay that's too risky because you will make the other couple or you will crush them or you will make the other couple to stand okay so you are delaying the ronda so 
it's not useful okay what you should do is to go very short try to make that uh, that uh, circle but do it short with short um, um, for example it has to be a short circle the drawing okay that's what I recommend and we will avoid problems okay we will avoid conflicts remember guys uh, not to leave these kind of steps okay because remember that the ladies they cannot or the followers they cannot see what's coming behind them okay so don't uh, make an exposure of the in, in a risky way of the the body of the other person okay one other step for followers the high volume okay the same the high volume was not created for the minonga i know that some of you can do it i know that it looks beautiful but it's too risky many girls are uh, hurt because of that okay with the heels of other lady or something so it's too risky and the milonga is a place where everyone wants to have fun everyone wants to um, feel that they can express their art or the ex express their emotions or have a dialogue with with the partner or something like that so a milonga is a magic place and magic time let's not ruin the moment the special moment that others are having okay so avoid the high boleos try to do it more in a traditional way so low okay but don't do it in a high boleo okay high boleo it is around uh, from the knee from the knee going up if you go up from the the height of the knee it's a high boleo it's too risky it's not recommended and it's not made for the milonga okay it's made for the performance so one of the things that are important to that we have to focus from the beginning in our dance and even more when we are beginners or more to advance that the people um, advanced dancers can do uh, can manage their own body to do different steps is uh, that we have to know which steps are um, are made for the milonga and which steps are not okay if i want to do planeos high voleos and turns and kicks and those kind of things you can do it prepare a choreography or prepare a performance Talk to the organizer of the milonga and ask him uh, if you can make a performance, okay? But don't do it in a milonga because many times it happens that the dancer that is doing those kind of steps, remember, going backwards, going in a side step, too much, uh, too much hitos, um sacadas all the time those kind of steps um, they don't realize that they are ruining the dance of the other couples that they that are close to them okay so maybe you want to do them okay if you want to do them rent a place for you and your partner and practice and train take your pictures do your videos uh, but it's not something for the milongas okay you will be taking too much space and you will be ruining the special time of the other person okay so um, thank you very much i hope these tips these six strategies it ended being nine okay i will tell you again we were talking about we talked about the geography divided in two uh, about the place in the milonga about how to get noticed in the milonga uh, topic number two it was the music okay not to dance many tandas in a row i explained why 
uh, the, elect the election of the orchestras, of the kind of orchestras, the different groups of the orchestras, I talked about that, about the cabeceo, uh, how to avoid conflicts, misunderstandings, and what happens if, um, if the conflict it is there already, how to fix the situation um, for not to feel uncomfortable in the middle of 100 people. Okay, so that was the uh, space music cabeceo social uh, tips. And inside the floor, what kind of uh, what kind of movements uh, are not proper or will uh, will have a higher um, possibility to to cause a conflict with uh, another with another dancer? Okay, no step backwards. Move. Don't be stuck. Uh, in one place because you will be delaying the, the ronda keep the distance we talked about that no sidestep remember about the uh, about why I said that before remember about the concept of opening ladies no planeos or followers no planeos I explain why it's not because I, I don't like them uh, no high voleos are recommended. I recommend lower voleos. And if you have some questions or um, if you have some ideas for next topics, please comment below. So remember the new schedule of this channel. Subscribe. Tango for All is the name of this new channel on YouTube. We will have on Mondays on Instagram Live um, short trainings, training sessions. On Wednesdays we will have this podcast we are having already. Both are 7 p.m. Spanish time. On Mondays the training is on Instagram Live. On Wednesday the um, podcast is on Facebook Live. And on Fridays we will have, I will release every week uh, a tutorial for you to train at home okay so thank you very much and see you next week okay